Hey, how y'all doing, folks? This KVSMC or Kenny. We're gonna be cooking squirrel today, and uh, we're just eating. This is gonna be my dinner. The wife and um, my little girl are at the beach, so I figure I have some squirrel cook up, and I did a shot this past uh, hunting season. But anyway. I got you hot throw a fit, but I don't have my uh, my uh, things that you made me. But anyway, I'm cooking squirrel. I'm, I'm gonna fry them. I'm gonna be using uh, a uh, what do you call it? A cornstarch batter with Old Bay seasoning and that kind of stuff. So here we're gonna get started. This thing will try it up. I'm trying to not backwards, but anyway, I'm trying not to make this boring video, but it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. You'll like it. All right. You got my squirrels right here. You got my. You got three squirrels. I'm gonna be having for dinner. I already got my knife sharp. You get my bowls out. One bowl. All right. And you see, I got the squirrel right here. Uh, I mean, I might just zoom, zoom in on that, but I go up and see what I'm doing. Okay, let me get on that a little bit better. Wasting meat. Forget the good Lord. Nature gave me the squirrel to eat. I'm gonna do the best I can. First of all, I'm gonna seed this meat right here in the root cage. I'm cutting all that off. Front legs. And a lot of meat back here on the loins. I almost like on the deer, but just a tad bit smaller. That's some good meat. Oh, look at that. And that just comes right on off. Um, find that joint. You're right in there. There you go. That's a front, that's a front leg. So you can imagine what's going to be on the, on the rest. Now we're going to do a hind leg. And again, there's a lot of meat up in here, so don't want to waste any. And these are all head shot squirrels. And you got some loins up in here too. Gotta get all, all that out. Not much meat in the rib cage, unfortunately. Back here, a lot of meat. Like a rabbit. We got a knife sharp this time. All right. A lot of people do them different. Well, a different shade way I do it. And right here you got a little ball. It's pelvis. I just cut that. And there you go. You get a hind leg. Got all the meat on that. So that's all good. That's all good meat. Really good meat. All right. Same thing over here. Repeat this step. Get that flank off. Back 
here, and you got an inner, inner loin up in here. Free to leave comments. Every now and then, it gives you a problem. I've got these snips. Oh, yeah. Makes a lot of your another, another hind leg. Ready to cook. All right, do a front shot, another little front leg. Front shoulder, right foot, yeah, front shoulder. First of all, I'm going to get some Argo uh, cornstarch right here. And we're going to use water. That's some good stuff. Alright. I'm going to put not a whole lot, but just enough to coat the bottom of the, uh, bottom of the uh, bowl. There we go. About yay much. I'm <laughs> just, I'm just, you know, kind of guesstimating. Go get the consistency though. No, no. Top back the ball there. Okay. Old Bay seasoning. We use red pepper, salt and pepper, anything you want to spice it up with. I like mine kind of spicy. So here we go. I'm gonna. About that much, a little more. That's not that much. There you go. So I'm making batter. All right, now I add water to it. And you get just a, a little bit of water at a time. It gets like concrete. And you'll. I'll, I mean, you can make it. If you want the consistency thick, then you're then you'll have real a lot of batter on your on your own um, meat or anything you're frying, okra, any of that kind of stuff. But that was just the right amount of water right there that I added. And you can salt and pepper your squirrel, or put Old Bay or anything you want on there beforehand. But there's my batter. And see where it's coming off the spoon? That consistency is what you want. Where it's just dripping off of there real good. That way the batter didn't get done. Don't get, you're going to get more batter than you do meat, is what I'm trying to say. All right. There we go. And it's like a can like thinner than pancake batter. All right. We go get let me get the squirrels. I'll drop them in there. All right, hold up. Okie dokie. Alright. 
Now we've got a squir our squirrel meat that we uh, I, got, I put in the refrigerator. And I'll drop my meat into the bowl with the batter. Okay. And let it soak, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. So, you know, whatever's good. I got three squirrels in there total. And I just take them, stir it up. Stir them all up. Like that. You even want to talk about good. Oh gosh, y'all. Let me tell you. I've been eating squirrels since I was a kid. My dad always used to prime them up. But over the years, we always try to find a better way to do it. But you can't beat a black cast iron, black cast iron pan. The one I have is a lodge. But any cast iron, black cast iron pan works. All right, look at that, look at that coating on there. That's what, that's what you want to look like without spilling all over the floor. Okay, let them soak a little bit. Put that bowl in there, you know, and I'll be right back. Okay, now we're, uh, we've got a pan there, a black cast iron pan right here. I'm gonna put, uh, Pure vegetable oil in here. You can use olive oil, pure vegetable oil, anything you like. I'm gonna put about, an, I don't know, about eight inch or a quarter inch. Just to get the bottom good and coated. And any leftover, I'll just go ahead and put my, uh, what's so, my, uh, oil, my reservoir, my bio, biomass, or uh, however what's so, that burns oil or wood, that kind of stuff. Okay, now we got our oil near doing its thing. It's heating up pretty good. I'm going to let it get to about 350 degrees. And I'll drop, and then I'll drop them in there. The squirrels in there, and get them, you know, nice and uh, like a like a flash fry. Then I'm gonna simmer them for about an hour, about an hour. All right, I'm gonna let it heat up, and then we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I got my oil right at 350 degrees. All right, and there's the pan, and we're going. We're going to flash fry them real flash fry them. And look out. We'll turn it down a little bit. It's well, well over 350. This is warm, too, so I'm try this at home. This is a thermometer. All right. The squirrel is ready. I'm not done. <laughs> okay. And first piece. That's a, that's a hind leg. Another hind leg. Another hind leg. Front shoulder or front leg. Room now. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's the way we want it. 
Gotta make room. And a fork. Doesn't take long because they're already doing their thing. That corn starch, y'all. Sorry about all the interruptions. Look at that. They're ready to flip. One thing about a squirrel, there's no fat on it, so it's good for you. And the trick to get them tender, that's, that's the other part. Right now I'm just making room for my other, other squirrel. Other squirrel meat, that is. How's that look, y'all? All right, I'll flip them over and I'll be right back. All right, now I'm gonna flip them over. There we go. See how it's doing? That's the way I want it. All right. Flip them over in the pan. They're, they're flash, they're flash fried. I mean, you know, that means flash fried quick at 350 degrees. Turn that one over. This one over here. All right. And now what I'll do? Car bleed up pan. Fit all those, that's all I need. Tell you a secret. Once we get it fried up like that, flash fried, you're gonna love this part. Okay. Once we get it flash fried up like that, we're gonna take the temperature. I got it on like a medium right now. Medium. I'm gonna turn it down to low. Let it sit, let it cook, simmer for an hour. All right. Put the top on it. And you can turn it over every so often. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. These are amateur videos, I'll tell you. Uh, but I got the top on it, and it's on low. On, it's sitting on low and it's going to summer and it's going to cook and steam and everything like that. All right. I'll be back. Be back in about an hour and I'm going to flip it, flip them in a couple, in a couple times in between and there we go. All right. Be back. All right. Bye bye. Okay, y'all. You seen this squirrel's been cooking for about, I'm going to say about, uh, 40 minutes now. We're gonna open the top up, and uh, then we're gonna go ahead and uh, see what we got. All right, sorry about that. Yeah, there we go. Get on in there. Let's see what we got here. 
I'll turn them over. Oh yeah, look at that. The meat will start separating from the bone. So they're flash, they're flash uh, fried. Now I'll just turn them over. Look at that. Oh, we got that red color in that old bay. That red pepper's really coming out. You can do fried chicken the same way. They get it real tender. I don't know if I cook it an hour, but I mean, it depends on how much you got. We hit the hour mark, I'll, I'll, we'll come back. Okay? All right, be back here shortly. All right. Then we'll, then we'll come back, we'll take them out, and we'll eat, we'll try a piece. All right. Over now. Okay, y'all, it's been about an hour, hour, about an hour and ten minutes. And here's our result. And you saw in the last little segment, we all uh, flip them over. I'm sorry it's a long, drawn-out video, but it just, it is what it is. Alright. Get in there. Here they are. See the steam rolling off of them? We're going to turn it off. Taking these, these good looking these, oh gosh. And a good way to test them is to, you see the meat, you can take your fork and you can stick in the side of them like that. Oh yeah, the meat's just like fall off the bone. That's a good test. Take all, shake all the excess oil off there. Nice and crispy brown. Oh, good. And, and the cornstarch puts a nice outside layer on there. Look at the way that turned out. God, oh. But I'm going to show you something here in a minute. This is vegetable oil. And tell them they're done with the knee and the meat starts pulling away from the bone. Alright. Alright. Now I'm gonna come now I'm gonna show you something really cool. So yeah, about an hour to hour to 15 minutes. Just depending on how many squirrel, um, how much meat you have in there. But okay, let me raise this back a little bit. Which one do we want? 
<laughs> Let's see here. All right. All right. Here we go. Look at the texture of that. And you take your. She's hot. But look at that, it just the meat just falls off the bone. Oh gosh, look at that y'all. Oh well. That's tender. That's really tender. Now if you want to, not polite to talk and eat, but it's so good. But look at the texture. I mean it's it's like eating frog legs or chicken. It is so good, y'all. But anyway, that's how I put your, you can add a little salt and pepper to that, or a little, a little more Old Bay, or some hot sauce, any, any way you'd like the taste. But anyway, that is my video on uh, cooking squirrels. Uh, that's how I do it, and I've been doing it that way all my life, because I used to use flour and all that kind of stuff, but the cornstarch makes it more crispier, makes it a whole lot better. And I wouldn't go in the woods hunting squirrels if I didn't eat them. And I'm going to tell you, it's in the summertime after I cook, or in the winter after I shoot one, or let it age for a while in the freezer, I pull it out in the summertime and have you guys, give you guys some good eat. All right, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe. I'll take it easy. God bless.